alipiga mau nikaenda nikashika nikamshika hivi sasa nilikuwa mdogo sasa yani nafili uchungu mbona napiga mama yani nilipiga mama mpaka nasikia yani mama anaenda mpaka anashindwa ku breathe nikaenda nikamshika dadi achia actually mama mwache tu mwache tu yani sijui sasa wamekosana nini sijui ama wameulizana nini nikamwambia mwache na tu na mama mm. i remember alinishika hivi eh alinigonga kwa ukuta kurudi nilizimia mm-hmm dada nakumbuka dada ni text malaa mkubwa na Nairobi unaendeleaje sasa nimele siku mwambia na nimelezi mtoto sababu ningemwambia aje text ndio ya shan text nikamwambia tu thank you kai akina kushukuru sana may god continue blessing you with your family msiwai kosa mimi ni kitu naombeanga msiwai kosa mfuka kwa siwai kauka unanipea of more than another three months three months unanilipa covid ilikuwa niko kwa nyumba lakini bado unanilipa tu sijafanya kazi sijakufanyia kazi lakini bado unanilipa why mungu akubariki watoto wangu naombea wasiwaekosa Oh, good morning. Now today's episode of Tales of Wanjiku brings uh, Edwin Ochieng and myself all the way to Ruaka. We are about to meet Sharon and her boss. Okay, so Sharon is a house manager and her boss vouches she is the best she has ever seen. So still wondering how can one woman lose all her children and still find it in her heart? to cater for another woman's children so we are about to give her a call alituambia tukuje tusimame opposite a certain club so uh, let's call her atuchukue twende tuone kwake and then she takes us all the way to her uh, kwa boss wake hello sharon yes milin tuko hapa tuko opposite this more inside ingine eh hii yenye iko na chemist hapa nje Oh. Eh hapa si ni directly opposite eh, kabisa. Um, um, mdumufane, tukuja oh. aje adi, venye tu tunakuja. Eh, oh, nimekuona. Haya. So ah, there she is. Sasa Sharon. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Tiko. Salimia watu wangu. Habari <laughs> Eh tunaenda aje? Uh, I'm Sharon Makoha. Yes. Uh, mi na nakaa huku sasa unakaa huku eh, so tunaenda aje ni len 26 na ito len 26 asiuingie basi kwa gari tuende pamoja ama aingie ingia sawa how are you i'm fine you are good i'm, I'm good i'm good nimekuchelewesha nime ah uh, si sana mdosi ya teti <laughs> <laughs> mdosi ya teti ah uh, is it is straight on you tunaenda street tv eh. this side tv eh haya uh, uh, ndio my director uh, edwin ochieng Yes, Edwin Sharon. Sharon. Yes. Hi. Hi hi hi. Niko poa. Niko poa. This morning. Oh. Thank God. Amen. Huko ndio mtaa sasa. Huko sasa ndio mtaa. Eh. Unaona tunakaa mbali na my boss wanakaa huko juu. Oh, wanakaa huko juu? Okay. Na ukura huko unarauka saa ngapi? Ah, natoka kwa nyumba 6:45. Uh-huh. Sababu kutembea tu si mbali. Oh, si mbali. By 7 niko kwa mlango. Okay. Ah, sababu pia wapendi mtu akichelewa. Oh, wapendi mtu akichelewa. Yeah. You miss with one minute. Mm. Eh. Ameanza. Itakuwa fire. <laughs> Itakuwa fire. Straight bado. Eh, straight straight. Mhm. Na mm. uh, nini unafanyanga job for how many hours? Seven to mm. six. Oh, seven to six. Yeah. Okay. So. Yo, hello. Hey. Karibuni, karibuni. 
hivi karibuni. Asante. I love your home. I love your home. Ya kongana Oh, tukae. Asante. I love your trench coat. You and your sunny vest. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, and uh -huh. best, yeah. mm. So you stay here? I stay here. This is my house. Eh. I used to stay with my brother, like in Yanina Nibani. Okay. I'm going to go to the lockdown. I'm going to go to the lockdown. I'm going to go to the Okay. Yeah. So every day you live here, you yes. end up on those platforms and roads. Ah yeah, Corey, the ones that keep us alive. So in the bus. So now uh, we are approaching uh, Sharon's employer's house. It takes her around 15 minutes walking distance to get to this place. And she just told me that upon reaching the house, she will go straight to her duties, uh, which um, entails uh, spreading the beds and making quick breakfast for the kids. And then she will spend the day cleaning the house. And Akimaliza, that's it. They can chill, watch TV, halafu, yata rudi tu kwake. Masi, yes. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Zindi utumi wa amsha? To this is normally our time. Me, I'm normally leaving oh. to go to the office. Uh -huh. Uh, and then now Sharon uh, picks it up from there. Oh, uh, and at me on a chief sanitizer party. Yes, I'm going to come. 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 I'm going to come.
kulimia watu at least apate uniform niende tu shule ze public ushago si expensive mm-hmm. i was in class six that time i can't have to shule nika join i joined the school and then my dad came back akaanza like i remember that day alikuja saa tatu usiku akatufukuza nje niko class six akan anatuambia twende tutafute mahali pa kuenda mm. that's not our home tuliza mom where our dad where our dad is so tukakuwa heartbroken sisi wote watoto wao wadogo wataenda wapi am the first born mm. mimi tuliza ndo na feel ile uchungu akaanza kupiga mom that night that night sasa alipiga mom nikaenda nikashika nikamshika hivi sasa nilikuwa mdogo sasa yani na feel hii uchungu mbona napiga mom ana nilipiga mom mpaka nasikia yani mom anaenda mpaka anashindwa ku breathe nikaenda nikamshika dadi atia actually ya mom muache tu muache tu yani sijui sasa wamekosana nini sijui ama wameulizana nini nikamwambia muache na tu na mom mm. i remember alinishika hivi eh aliniigonga kwa ukuta kurudi nilizimia mm mm-hmm. Nikaenda hospital I was hospital like a month ndio kugongwa akapotea one year ajarudi nyumbani tunateseka hivyo tuko atwendi shule sasa nikukata ah, kuna kusoma tutasoma aje na kuna pesa ukienda ukimpigia simu muulize dad school fees anakukatia ama kwambie you not my, my daughter anakwambia eh who's Sharon yani mpaka kuna siku ilifika tukienda kuuliza nikaenda kuuliza dad school fees ana news Sharon do I have a daughter called Sharon. Wow. Ai. Sikumbuki nikiwa na mtoto anaitwa Sharon. Yaani nilikaa chini nikasema kai. Huyu baba alikuwa anatupenda. Hii mapenzi yote ilienda wapi? This relationship imekuwa broken kabisa. Yaani ile unaona he sina baba. Nilikaa chini nikasema kai. Where am I going now? I decided to have a boyfriend now sababu so, sasa life imefika mwisho. Okay, wa class 6. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Nilitafuta boyfriend. Mtuli date na yeye boyfriend alikuwa ananiulia pad sasa juu sasa pad ile fika mali sasa ikakuwa ni chida. My mom anachukua blouse yake moja, anakatakata pieces and nitumie and then nioshe. Nianike ndatumia next month. Mm. It was hard. Hard for me and I'm the only daughter. And he was feeling like ah bona na ntiti na ni mimi ndo msichana wake peke yangu. Mhm. Au wadogo, au feel kitu, au do anything. They are still young. I'm going through this a lot. Why? I decided one day nikachukua kamba nikafunga juu ya nyumba yetu. Nikasema let me just die because if my dad anezafanyia hivi. Nani mwingine atani accept? My mom ndio ni pressure. Nikupigwa kutusiwa matusi ya jana unakaa hivi chini una, unashangaa mbona huyu mtu ananitusi hivi boyfriend yangu alinisaidia alikuwa anatusaidia sasa za family ndio alikuwa mkubwa sasa i was like alikuwa how old alikuwa 30 mm haya mm alikuwa yani anaendesha tu pikipiki boda boda because i had no other ways nataka kusaidiwa but alikuwa na respect alikuwa anambia ukimaliza shule nitakuoa so we never had in, nini ile pamoja mm. mm. siku yaenda kwake alikuwa anakuja tu nyumbani anasaidia mama mshamba anampea pesa ananinulia vitabu pads then he decided utaenda shule next year so my dad akasikia nimeenda shule tena akakuja akafunga huyo kijana akamwambia mbona unamsomesha ni mtoto wako So the boy was like, "Ah, mbona uli wa abandon? Ukawaacha nyumbani bila anything. How do you want them to survive?" My dad akamfunga. Na ikakuwa ni hivyo. Then alitoka jela akasema, "Eh, mimi story yenu stuck because I'm tra- I'm being threatened. If I continue this, yani my dad what my dad wanted ilikuwa anataka tu safi. Mm. Nothing alikuwa anataka tu yani tuendelee kuteseka hivyo mm-hmm, hivyo." Mm-hmm anani text akiwa kazini anani text ni yeye nifanye umalaya niende nitafute kitu yeyote nikuwe made niende nifanye umeni yenye tu nita feel like yeye nifanye huko Nairobi sijui Nairobi ni wapi nilikaa chini nikafikiria mama anateseka watoto wetu wananihitaji wanahitaji msaada 
do I'm still young sin at ID mimi nitae utaenda nilipanda gari I remember nilichukua ngapi za mamu kwenye alikuwa amelima nikasema mimi hata kama mtabaki nja mimi hapa siwezi kaa tena nikapanda gari nikaenda stage ngizi ni gari za Nairobi sawa twende stage unashuka ujuu unaenda wapi kila mtu anaenda shughuli zake tukishashuka huu ujuu unaenda wapi nilala street one week hapo mudhurwa watu wakishauza wanasha cover hizo maangua zao mnaingia hapo ndani tulikosha na watatu mnaingia hapo ndani mnalala kesho yake ikifika mnaendelea na shughuli hmm. nikaenda nikapata mbao mwingine hapo anauza melon aka nika akaniambia nitakusaidia uniuzi yangu melon alafu nikuweke kwa nyumba nitakusaidia tu malipo kula pokula nikamwambia tayo mtu akume nisaidia aka nikauza nikamuuzia melon siku ya kwanza siku ya pili nikienda tu kwa nyumba ananipea 20 bob lakini atakuja na chakula jioni so the third day hey men i just men mimi sikuwa na, na juu intention yake ama itafika mahali afikirie hivyo eh hey, usiku nimelala na kaanza kunishika shika hiyo usiku nilitoka kwa hiyo nyumba saa sita usiku na, na sasa yule ulikuwa how old ilikuwa um, i think in 16 mm-hmm. hapo mm-hmm. nikatoka kwa hiyo nyumba nikatoka sijui nenda wapi mm-hmm. nililala kwa chuo fulani hapo na sikumbuki ni wapi nilala huko after that mimi nikarudi kwa street kama kawaida mapolisi wakakuja wakasanya watu oh, street children wakasanya wakasanya wakatusanya wakatupeleka police station sasa walikuwa nauliza kila mtu my mom sasa hizo ajui mali niko ajui my brothers yes najua wanateseka lakini lazima nikuwa hapa nifanye nini nitafute tukaenda police station after three days kila mtu alikuwa anaulizwa kwenye ni wapi mimi nimenyamaza hata siongei sina simu yani sitaki kupatia mamangu pressure tena Three days tukaachiliwa tukamwambia nyende ende, ende. ende ni tukae tukatoka sasa kila mtu akosika hata anaenda kivi yake mimi mm. nimesimama hapo mama mwingine akakuja kaniambia ni, mimi natafuta msichana waka wakazi unaweza fanya kama hey, naweza fanya unalipa pesa ngapi 2000 nikafanya mama hiyo sasa hiyo na hiyo 2000 ikafika mwezi mu, mwezi wa kwanza sasa akunilipa 2000 akanilipa 500 akaniambia nende ushaguo nikae na mama yake and then atanitumia hizo pesa zingine akunitumia kakuwa ni hivyo ni utana sasa nikatoka kwa hiyo nyumba nikasema ai mbona mama hataki kunipea pesa na nataka niende ushaguo mimi nikakata nikamwambia hapana acha niende kwa aunti yangu sina aunti lakini nikamwambia unaenda kwa aunti nienda kwa aunti sina aunti yani hmm. nataka ajue pia mimi niko na mtu huyo hmm. acha niende kwa aunti yangu nitafute kazi ngi kazi nyingine hmm. nikatoka akanipea nilikuwa na bag ni, nini tatu nguo tatu tu kwa paper bag zile paper bag za kitambo nikatoka ni kwa hiyo nyumba nikaenda nikapata na kijana fulani hapo akaniambia unatafuta kazi mwambie eh natafuta kazi unaweza fanya mjengo kama eh mjengo nitafanya mtu anafanya aje kufagia tu sawa akanipeleka sasa kanileta hapa ruaka huku na hii saidia banana nikaenda banana tukafanya mjengo sasa nilikuwa tunaishi wasichana kama watatu kwa nyumba sasa kanipatia sasa best yake niishi na ye. tukienda mjengo siku moja akakuja akaniambia eh sasa sikuwe bibi yangu nikamwambia eh mimi saizi sitaki kuwa bibi yangu tunatafuta pesa nisaidie watu wa nyumba wa nyumba nikaniambia kama ni hivyo utaacha ka utaacha ka nikamwambia ni sawa niheri niache kazi lakini nisalale na wewe mm. ama ni, 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 ni usikuwe ni sikuwe bibi yako mm. kaniambia ni sawa kesho ukikuja kujua pesa zako pia umeenda mimi nikaendea pesa zangu nikaenda sa nikakaka hiyo ku hustle hustle my mom saizo ajui niko wapi 2017 2018 nikakuja sasa 2019 nikatafuta nikatafuta bureau walikuwa wanasema wanalipisha 300 registration mimi nikaenda nikachukua hiyo 300 nikatafuta hiyo 300 nikapeana kwa bureau ndio sasa tukakutana na masi sasa mm-hmm. kesho yake nikapigiwa simu kuna mama anataka mtu anataka wasichana wawili wawili nasema yeye mimi nitaenda wewe ukue wa day na kuna wa, wa kuishi tukakuja wawili hapa sasa kukuja wawili huyo mwingine akashindwa na kazi. Mm. Ah, basi akamwambia kama unaona kazi ni ngumu, unaweza tufanya nini? Mm. Unaweza tuenda ina shida, mimi sina shida. Mchana mm. akasema ni sawa. Lakini wakaacha na roho safi. Mm. Au kwaacha na kelele, basi akamlipa pesa zake sasa mimi kabaki sasa. Mhm. Nimefanya yae hiyo 2019 Oktoba 2019 nikaanza kuwa mgonjo. Bali yani before niingia hapa nikapigia mamu nikamwambia niko malfla mamangu aka 
aka break into tears nilikuwa nadhania umekufa juu nilikuwa nimeambiwa we ulishakufa hadi ni kama kuzika ulishakuzika ulishakusahau mm. nikamwambia mama niko hai napambana kuna siku nitakuja unione sasa nivenye nilipata hapa kazi nikavumilia nikakaka Oktoba nikakuwa mgonjwa nilikapata mimba mm. na my boyfriend sasa mm. nikakupata mimba ikakuwa complicated bwana masia kanipeleka hosi mm. alinipeleka hosi nyingine hapo inaitwa gadhanga kufika hapo waona scan wakaniambia nini nazareth nazareth daktari wakaniambia hawako kufika nini na kashindwa mbona wananisungusha kumbe siku ndo nakufa na sijui aya wakanipeleka hivi hivi wakaniambia mpaka niende kiambu sasa mimi nikaenda kiambu nikapigia masisi nikamwambia niko kiambu sasa hivi nilikaa nilienda kiambu akaniambia hizo zenye umepimwa huko nje atupimi uh, tutafata mm. tunapima zetu mm. wakapima kila kitu wakasema you are pregnant lakini you have twins lakini kuna mwingine hapa kwa mshipa so tunatoa huyu mwenye yako kwa mshipa ako very dangerous it's just kidogo apasuke and then you are done so nikakuwa scared sasa yani ile two time nimesema sasa at least napata pesa nipigie mamangu nimtumie kitu ndio hiyo Mungu anataka kufanya nini kunipia majaribu nikapigia masimu asiye kaniambia hapana maybe anataka wanataka tu kusai yani inda tu tujaribu tuone maybe si mbaya sana unajua wale kusari pia wasema na nile tu kushtua hmm. usijali hmm. masia kanitumia pesa sasa ndo mwezi imeanza natumia pesa na jo tutakatwa sababu sasa kama naanza kutumia pesa saa hizi ningewa hosi na sije, mwezi ndo inaanza iko tarehe 10 hiyo ni kukatwa tu hakuna kitu nitafuta at the end of the month hata nikirudi kazi nika nikaenda nikaadmitiwa nikachukua file nikaadmitiwa nikaoperatiwa kesho yake morning sasa hmm. wakaniambia daktari mkubwa akuje hmm. ani ani shughulikie kesho yake kutoka yani wakumbuka wametoa huyu mtoto mmoja wa macha huyu mmoja na ni matwins sasa hadi nilikuwa najiuliza mbona wasitoe wote hadi masio lienda akawaongelesha mbona msitoe wote aponye kidondamo kidondamo kwa sababu how is this kid going to grow niko na already operation huyu atakuwaaje wakasema hawezi toa huyo wa pili hiyo ni abortion na waneza tuneza wasu na wakakata hivyo wakashona tumbo mimi wakanirudisha ward so after 3 days nikaanza ku bleed yani ile uchungu nasikia mpaka erimema niliambia daktari ukinidunga hapa sindani ni dunga ya kukufa ndio watu wangu kesho wakikuja waambie ulipata kama nimekuwa nimekufa yani nilikuwa nasikia yani sasa hizi ndo nimepata at least mali niko stable hawa watu wananipenda kama mtoto wao yani wana treat kama ni kama hadi nafika mahali nasema eh kwani are we related na sijui ama juu yani venye tu wanani treat ni ile sijawahi tu mpaka na wazazi wangu nyumbani remember ule boyfriend nilikuwa naye nilikuja nikapata ball na nikazana na nimtoto kwa wapi nyumbani ule wa piki piki mhm mm-hmm. mtoto wako nyumbani au ulikuwa na mwingine before eh sasa ule mm. sasa wapi tulienda tuka mm. tuka push tuka push hivyo mm. nikakuja nikapata ball sasa na yeye oh. baadaye mm-hmm juu tuliachana tukarudiana hivyo yani nataka mm. pesa so mm. tulikuwa tunachana tuna ile siri siri mm. na hivyo ndo nilipata mimi sasa nikaachia mambo sasa mtoto nimemwachia mtoto hana yeni mm. mtoto anagrow na yeye sasa hiyo nikiwa hosi nikamwambia daktari eh mimi ni dunge tu sitani kukufa daktari kanambia are okay kila kitu iko na mwanzo na mwisho so we uvumilia i can't kill you akandunga sitani mimi nikalala after three days sasa huyu sasa huyu sasa ameanza ku give up anatoka sasa nikarudishwa scan scan ikasema bado hajatoka mm. na hizo ni pesa nikarudishwa ward the second day tena tena nikapelekwa scan scan sasa ndo ikasema ndo ameanza kutoka so i can ne wanaenda sasa kumtoa mtoa anaenda kuniosha wakaenda kaniosha wanafaa waingize vitu huko chini na huku bado niko na kidonda ni fresh ya yani nini nilikuwa nasikia ni kama it's the end of me. Ndio ananiambia lazima sababu tuwezi kuacha na yeye kwa tumbo. Ashaanza kutoka lazima tumto. Tu 
nitoe. Unasikia yangu unakaa hivi jini unasema Mungu sio nichukue tu sasa hivi yake before nifike hapo. Yaani Nil feel it's the end of me. Kidonda ni fresh. Lazima ni osho tumbo. Kuosha tumbo nasikia ni uchungu. Yaani na imagine uchungu time 10. Lazima uguzwe hapa kwa kidonda wafinye. Mhm. Ndio uchafu itoke. Awe ni hizo uchafu hata kidogo kwa tumbo. Nilivumilia. Nikaosho. Nikarudi kwa mtanda. Nikalala hiyo siku kesho yake mm. kila mtu akakuja kuniona. Mm. Masio niambia be strong. Be strong for your baby at home. Nilikuwa strong. Kijana mmoja alinipea mimba. He never took responsibilities nikaenda kwake sasa singekuja hapa kuishi na kina masi nikaenda kwa kwa kijana sasa afuta kureleziwa kutoka hosi alianza kunipiga hmm? nimetoka hosi yani mpaka nilikuwa napigia masi mimi hapa nikukufa tunakufa hakuna kitu kingine na ngoja anakuja na wanawake mwanamke kwa nyumba na anapika wanakula anafanya hizo vituko zake zote hapo ukiwa hapo ukiwa hapo na hiyo uchungu yote ndio nimetoka hosi nikiongea ananipiga mateka na nirusha nje kuna nyesha. Yeye siku niliona acha nikunye tu dawa nikufe. Nilikumbuka nikoroga dawa. Nikakoroga nikalala. Nikasema sasa hii it's the end of mwacha kuja apate maiti. Acha ile kunipinge. Yaani nilikuwa nasikia bado niko na kidonda, bado ni fresh. Nimetoka husi. Mwanuma ananipiga bila huruma. Nikakoroga dawa nikalala kwa kitanda. Nikasema sasa it's the end of me nikamwandikia leta nikamweke hapo akakuja after 3 hours nikaamka nikajisikia tu nimeamka ndio mbona sijakufa mimi nataka kukufa mbona sijakufa sababu sitaki kupatia mamaangu stress nyumbani remember kuna watu kuna watoto nyumbani wanafaa wasome wanafaa wafanye nini na mimi nilikuja hapa nitafuta at least ile kidogo nitapata nitafanya nini nitampea sasa hivi nime, nimepata at least mali nafanya kazi wananipea pesa ndio hiyo she does not talk like that to from no ya kila kitu inaniandama nilivumilia kwa hiyo kijana nikakuja nikapona pona nikamwambia msi hapana mimi acha tunirudi kazi msi akaniambia hapana you are not stable and remember alinitumia 5k akaniambia hata kama uko hapo just yani vumilia tu lakini hizo pesa utumie kule ufanye nini ukule vizuri ndio ukirudi kazi usikuwe na nini shida nyingine nilikaa nyumbani yetu from October mm. to January 2020 sasa mm. nikarudi sasa kazi sasa nimefanya kazi yani my bosses wana tit yani sunaona sababu bado sijapona poa mm. lakini nafanya kazi kidogo unaweza kuja unapata wamefua na kuja tukukaa na watoto yani they understand me more than mtu mwingine angeni understand wanaweza osha niambi sharuni leo relax off na pewanga hata mwezi Wanembe Sharon eh umefanya kazi. Eh yeah, akipewa off go lazima mimi anipe. Anyambia leo nimepewa off mwezi mmoja na travel ama naenda mahali hata kama niko hapa. Wewe enda fanya nini kumuziki na hata kukata. Hata kulipa. Ana kulipa pesa zako 2050 ikifika. Mimi sasa hizi nishapata mshahara nimekula imesha. <laughs> <laughs> leo hii eh leo 27 yeah. nililipwa. Nimelipa rent. Mamangu nimemtumia ndio hiyo. Mm sasa ndio kiniuliza pesa ndakupea kidogo tu yenye niko nayo. Mhm. Yaani mpaka watu walikuwa na mabeshi wangu wananiuliza, "Kwa nini unafanya na serikali?" Mhm. Sababu yani my boss ana, anajua shida, mtu anakunga na shida. Anakupea off hizi siku za COVID. Walikuwa wame travel wakakuwa mauko. Lakini alikuwa ananilipa. Unaembe kama wewe si enjoy. Unakuja tu unatengeneza nini? Siku anakuja kwa nyumba. Cause walikuwa niko tu kwangu. So ulilipwa. Nilikuwa nalipwa. Yaani tarehe yangu kulipo ikifika ananipea pesa. Sijafanya kazi niko kwa nyumba. 
niambi wewe ni more than angel yani nilikuwa ni mpaka nilikuwa nafika mahali nasema eh Mungu alinyambia atanitumia malaika siku moja ndio hawa sasa huyu mtoto wangu sasa hiyo covid silikujanga mm. wakaenda nyumbani mwezi wa wakakaa mpaka mwezi wa 4 wa 5 sasa walikuwa bado huko so mwezi wa 5 tarehe 5 ah nili, niliendea mtoto wakienda walienda kama leo mimi nikaendea mtoto sasa nikasema ah juu nenda kwa nyumba acha niendee mtoto wangu tukae naye I remember nikampigia simu nikamwambia nenea mtoto. Ah mbona unaendea mtoto? Alinileta juu. Mbona unaendea mtoto na hizi covid ni nini na hiyo gonjo? Ungeacha mtoto afanye nini akae nyumbani na mama. Ni sababu sasa nilikuwa nimeanza sasa ku support support mm. mama kidogo yenye napata. Mm. Aya. Nikaendea mtoto, tukakuja tukakaa na mtoto wiki moja. Mwezi wa 5. Yeah, mwezi wa 5 saiki anza anza birthday yake ya kwa 5. Akafanya birthday kama leo Sunday. Alafu sasa Monday nikapigia mazizi mbona eh mtoto wangu unasikia kichwa ina muuma nani nasikia naona ni kama hakuna fever anambia he mpeleke kwa sisi na pesa saa hizi kwa mpesa but chukopa mahali ufanya nini umpeleke kwa sisi nikakopa kweli nika mnunulia penkila kumbe ani mnunulia penkila sina kosa au the following day tukashinda vizuri na mtoto the third day he siku anajua kama ni siku yangu sasa kuniacha mtoto wangu zai nita nini mam alikuwa ananiita Sharon mm. that day she called he called me mom baba brother mdogo akashanga hai dila na nakuta mom leo how he omba mungu maanza kuitwa mom hivyo ndio alisema omba mungu sana umeanza kuitwa mom akasema he ni mungu hiyo siku siku akaanza kuwa na fever tena eh nikasema hii ni too much so nimpeleke hosi kampeleka hosi upeleka hosi sasa nikaacha huko sana wakibaki wakabaki na bro na mimi nikarudi kwa nyumba sasa kesho yake asubuhi nikarudi huko 6 sasa asubuhi kurudi huko niambiwa mtoto amekufa yani siku ana ila kusema nilikaa nikapigia mazindo mas, nilimtext nikamtext Dylan is gone what aje alikuwa tu anauma na kichwa kumbe shule huko nyumbani aligongwa na, na mtoto shule wakicheza damu ika fold na ndani sasa na sisi hatukujua mama pia kasiuma kujua hivyo ndo alikufa na mtoto wangu hivyo ndo akakufa na nikaona sasa maisha imeisha kama Mungu alininyang'anya nika go through all that hosi mbona chukue huyu tena ume lose twins tena huyu yani niliona Mungu anipendi na anitaki sasa nilienda nikasimama kwa barabara na nikasema acha mm, nikufe nilizika mtoto wangu na one day nadi ni ile mnatoa husi babake akuku mnatoa husi mnampeleka nyumbani kuzika hivyo hizo siku za covid sasa siku za covid zimewaka hakuna kupita na watu kumi hakuna yani ile serious nilizika mtoto na siku tulizika mtoto na siku moja yani nilifika mali nikaona hapana maisha yangu imeisha sasa heri nikufe nyumbani dada nakumbuka dada ni text malaa mkubwa Nairobi unaendeleaje sasa hizo nimeleza siku muambia hata nimeleza mtoto sababu ningemwambia aje text ndio ya shan text nikamwambia tu thank you never attend my burial huh? nimekosa nini sija kuongelesha mbona una text ni siwe attend burial hiyo text al text kila mtu mom my brothers sababu za mom za hizi ana rent nalipa hapa rent na lazima nimtumie nyumbani nilikuwa nafika siku nasema nafika kama mali nasema hapana nikuja nikaelezea mdozo wangu akaniambia hapana kuna siku huyo baba atakutamani siku na siku itafika waone kama nyinyi mlikuwa mlikuwa watu mm-hmm. Mungu alali amekupitishia all this with the reason kuna siku ata, baba yenu atawaita baba atawaita yani nyinyi mko na manufaa hata nyinyi. Mm-hmm. Ndio sasa masia kaamua kuwapigia. Nikasema Mungu anisaidie tu. Mm-hmm. I want to start my own life. Niache mamangu lakini nataka niache mamangu at least akiwa stable. Hata kama nikunulia mahali sababu sasa my brothers wako tu. 
kusoma ni ile unaenda shule mimi mwaka next next year una hustle mm. uende next year una hustle hivyo mm. nikipata kidogo nikurushie u hustle hivyo mm. sasa sasa hizi our second born alimaliza NYS ana kazi shule ndio yeye alikuwa amejaribu siji huko Meru mm. ndio yeye ilisimama sababu ya pesa my brother mdogo ilibidi arudi, arudi nyumbani sasa kwa my, my dad my dad amemweka hapa yanaenda na yake kama hala mfunza tabia paya yani nile amwelekezi mm. vizuri mm. ndio nikaamua sasa kumleta huko sasa ndio yeye amerudi tena nyumbani mm. ni hivyo mm. yani ako tu maisha yake iko tu anasema yeye yeah, yeah, anasema anga ah, kama maisha yangu ilianza kuharibika nikiwa mdogo acha yaribike nikiendelea anga mm. unako page na losi ya watoto wako <sighs> nikikuja hapa nicheze na kina Kayla sasa yani hao watoto wa badozi wangu hiyo kucheka kucheza yani wanafanya na feel there something kuna kitu sita si lose sana lakini nikirudi kwa nyumba hey mbaka niliamua ku delete kila kitu nikasema acha ni ni focus sababu inaelekea mwaka sasa inabidi ni focus Masi ananiambia anga mpaka kuna siku aliniletea daktari yani ani cancel sababu aliona hii huyu mtu hapana yani niko kazi lakini akili yangu haiko hapo kama huko mimi dosi wako alikutafutia cancel mm alikutafutia cancel alikuwa anakuja hapa kila siku ni cancel sababu aliona yani alikuwa mna chat whatsapp na yeye anamwambia i'm losing hope anaambia hapana mm. don't lose hope sharon mm. na kuambia i'll make your destiny grow I'll make you be somebody one day. Yaani nafuta ngayo maneno yake nasema. She just like my mother. And she is more than that. Wali simama na mimi through burial, through kosi. Wali lipa bill ya hosi. Kai. Burial ni limpinga simu lakini hakuwa na pesa kwa simu lakini aliwaliende, walitafuta mpesa, wanitumia pesa. Yaani unasimama na mimi mpaka leo. Mpaka naniuliza ngesha mimi nataka pesa ngapi? Yaani unataka ni kuongeze mshahara. Sababu mimi naona pesa zenye nakupea hazikutoshi. Shida nyumbani. Unafaa ulipe rent. Uko na mahitaji yako hata wewe. Yaani nime lose vitu mingi. <sighs> like you love about your bosses. They're so kind hearted. Any hospitality yao sijawaiona. Ni majiriwa huko lakini sijawahi ona watu wa pole kelele nakwambia tangu nikuje kwa nyumba sijawahi pigiwa kelele hii ni mwaka wa tatu hata ile ya kukorofishana kidogo hata ile ati anapata kama hujafanya yeye ananyamaza tu anaona maybe umesahau akuja kuambia Sharon kesho kupanguza hapa tutapanguza hapa Sharon kesho tutaosha nguo vizuri nguo hazizunguza jana hazijanga hazijanga tuangalie hivyo tuangalie vile tunaosha nguo tuangalie watoto hivyo mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Hakuna tili anakuja, "Hey, kwa nini hujafanya hii? Kwa nini hujafanya hii?" Hizi zenye naonanga huko nje watu wanateta tio. My boss jua anakuja ananipigia kile. Unaweza kuja sikisho yake sasa sinakuanga na off 5 days, nafanya kazi 5 days. Saturday off mbili. Saturday na Sunday niko kwa nyumba. <laughs> I'm out from Friday, June, mm. maybe saa nane hapo saa sita. Niambia kesho kuna siku wa half day. Sio kuja half day. Sio nafanya. Yaani mpaka kwa plot wanaonanga, "Eh, mtu anafanya kazi kwa" anafanya kazi ya maana sana. Mhm. Mtu ni kama anafanya kazi ya maana sana. Hakuna kazi ya maana. Ni tu house girl. Mimi nataka kuambia watu una house girl. As long as umepata mtu mwenye ana respect na una respect. Ukiingia kwa nyumba mtu concentrate na kazi. Sema hapa sasa hii ni ofisi yangu. Assume hapo sasa hii ni kazi yangu. Hapa ndo unapata chakula. Yaani jieke penda kazi yako mm. penda watoto kama watoto wako asiuma wale watoto wako ama sisters zako au brothers zako au utaheko sana na mtu mm. umepitia mengi sharo nini bado inakupeanga moyo nakwambia nilikuwa na lose hope lakini watu wenye nilipata wao wadozi wangu walinipea moyo waliniambia piga chini magoti sharo omba Mungu kama hiyo yote amekupidisha na bado uko hai 
wewe ni mtu mkubwa there is something anataka ukue yani anataka u grow mm-hmm. familia yako huko nyumbani wasiwadharau wana wadharau sasa hizi nyinyi mm-hmm. walikuwa wanasema sisi sasa nyinyi mnaenda unasema unaenda nyumbani unaenda nyumbani wapi uko na boma mko na kwenu nyinyi nyinyi hamuna kwenu tunaitonga sisi hatuna kwetu sababu boma ile babangu alisema anakuja auza hata sijui kama alishauza mm-hmm. sisi tutafute mahali pa kuenda mm-hmm. mama anaendeleaje mama ko poa kwa hasol tu atheza kuna pressure yani au pressure alipata through ile ku ile kuteseka na dad mm. so saiza kuna pressure hosi kila siku anafa treatment nini sasa hizo hizi pesa zangu kidogo nafanya nifanyie hizo nini yote mm. nafanya nisaidie ma my brothers wako aona kazi ukikuja kwa nyumba una feeling yaje na feeling niko nyumbani yani nikifika tu hata nikwenda sometimes natoka kama saa 2 sababu si siku Unaambia rusu dachelewa. Mhm, sitachelewa. Hapa tu dafika. Kafi ndio inafanya nitoke mapema. Yaani sometimes sana nalala. Niambia leo nalala huko. Nalala. Yaani lala tu kuona watu, yaani cheza na watoto mpaka usiku yaani walalishe. Mm. Yaani feel ndio hiyo. Kupiga kelele na wao. <laughs> Nasikia niko sawa. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Don't do this, don't do. Eh, mm. naona nani? Mhm ni kwangu yeye ninaonanga ni kama niko kwetu kabisa kabisa uko home kabisa mm hakuna kitu na lag mm mangu <laughs> baba anakujanga na mangu na bag nani yo my boss eh ananiwekea hapo maviatu ananiwekea mashaoni hizi mimi sivai tena chukua wow kwangu mangu zangu mingi maviatu mingi hizi mm. tizo nimevaa leo mm kutoka to my boss. Mm. Asiye hata kupeza vitu zote na ku aku nini? Mm. Aku kata mshahara. Nyumba ndio wamekutengenezea huko. He? Hiyo maana chini hiyo kubwa. Mm. Ni wao walinunua kitanda, kitanda. 6 by 6. Ni kanunua duvet. <laughs> wow. Yaani mimi naona ni kama hao ni watu. Mpaka nini ndio na mpaka my friends wanaweza ah boss wako unafanya house girl queen mbae ai na hupo sio kwa ni mzuri ajana kupea off wiki mbili mwezi uko nyumbani he na bado anakulipa na hizo sahau hata siku moja umuitisha jawai mdai pesa mm. yani tarehe 25 ikifika ana nini zangu umepata hata sijaona saa zingine mm. wow umeongelea challenges mingi house calls wengine wanapitia kama wanaume kwa nyumba mm kutolipo ibut watu wanakuambia anga challenges wanapitia anga ni kama na ungeambia nini yao wa baba kuna hata niko na bishi yangu ananiambia anga kwa hiyo nyumba kukula kuli analala saa sita kukula hizi kula tena wao hapa kwa dining hall dining at kuna anakulia kitchen na ni left hao wamemaliza nini hmm. kukula hapa sijawahi fanyiwe hivyo napika chakula naeka hapo lunch dinner yote pamoja mwenye anajisikia serve kula kila kitu yenye unataka kama leo ni kuku mnakula kuku nyinyi wote kuna watu wengine huko nje hata kuku wa jai yona wow. tangu ingie kwa nyumba jai yona nyama nyama mnakula mnakula greens yani mnakula kila kitu kila kitu yenye wao wanakula tunakula kuanzia mtoto mpaka mm. mtu mkubwa kuna mm. kubagua tie sisi tunakula kitu fulani mm. yenye mnakula kitu fulani mm. Mm wajai bagua mm-hmm. watu huko nje wanateseka oh, yeah. true house yani yani apaka an, mtu ana give up anasema eh umeid siwezi fanya umeid mm. niko hapa nafanya umeid mm. sayuna singefika siku nikasema ati nitakaa na nyinyi hapa hakuna siku nishae nishae jua nitapiga story na wewe nimekaa na wewe sasa hivi <laughs> eh true nani my boss mm. aliniambia your life is going to change Penye niko hapa wengi wamenisikia mm. wengi wananisikia mm. na change na change kuna mtu amepitia ile yenye nimepitia lakini na si lose hope u Mungu ako mm. God is alive mm. anaona mbele sisi tunaona hapa tu tunaona leo yanaona mpaka kesho mm. wow i mm. love that unaona mm. life yako una dreaming life yako itakuwaaje mm. Maybe. unataka ni ni kwa life yani my, my in my life mm. nataka ni 
tafute mahali ninunulie my mom land hmm? ni mjenge her dream house watoto wetu ni wajenge ni warudishe shule nikikaa hivi nime relax naona mamangu anapika hapa na mama mama nataka hiyo ni kwake si huko kwa rental ati landlord anakuja kumbishia ni kwake kwa shamba yake my brothers are wateseki waiti majina kila mtu nimemjengea ako stable na niko stable niko kwangu niko happy na bwanangu hautaishi hapa milele but utakuwa unarudi ukienda lazima hawa hata wanajua yani nilikuwa nasema nikitoka kwa hii nyumba basi alikuwa anaambia eh Sharon nakuombea upate shamba yako nipigenge simu eh you know what najengea mamangu nyumba you know what imagine nimenunulia mamangu shamba yani atakuwa happy yeye anasema eh siku moja uniambia nge leta watoto wako nikae nao enda kujibamba Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. Itafika siku. Itafika siku. Sio sababu mali wamenitoa. Mm. Ni mbali. Mm. Naombeanga sana. Mimi mm. nasemanga wadudu wangu siwaikosa. Wasiwaikosa. Hadi naombeanga tena mtexting akinipea kitu na namwambia na irudi mingi. Usiwaikosa hiyo kiatu umenipea na usiwaikosa hiyo nguo umenipea baka next mwezi inafuata anatoa zingine hizi zimetoka wapi hata sijui mm. zimejaa tena mm. any zile blessings natakanga ni wa, nikitoka kwenye nyumba ni waachie blessings zenye zenye wata enjoy kabisa cha tulete masi sasa nataka mm. kuwaeka hapa pamoja <laughs> masi uh, this is my boss masi <laughs> Mm, mama Kayla and Natalie umenitoa mbali from the day nilikuja kwa hii nyumba he stood by me kila mahali through thick through thin eh my my son tukizika ulisoma na mimi nikiwa hosi you paid all the bills i really appreciate all that may god bless you may god bless you bless you bless you bless you bless you nyumba yangu kutengeneza saa hizi ni wewe mimi pia kila kitu kuanzia chini mattress viombo masufuria kai zile zenye singetamani hata siku ningesingejua siku moja naweza pata zile za baikali zenye mtu anaweza sema eh hizi wacha nipatie kazini yangu lakini ile nipea mimi i really appreciate all that manguo unatoa one drop unasema hizi Sharon beba yani nabeba mpaka watu kwa njia wananiuliza hizo ni nini manguo viatu akina kushukuru sana may god continue blessing you with your family msiwai kosa mimi ni kitu naombeanga msiwai kosa mfuka kwa siwai kauka unanipea off more than another three months three months unanilipa covid ilikuwa niko kwa nyumba lakini bado unanilipa tu sijafanya kazi sijakufanyia kazi lakini bado unanilipa why Mungu akubariki Watoto wangu naombea wasiwae kosa wasiwae kaukiwa na hii nyumba naombea mtapata yenye kubwa boma boma kubwa yenye naniambia kuja Sharon come see our home a very beautiful home nanta kuja because you are just more than angel to me yani Mungu alinitumia malaika and you are my angels i really love you so much i love your kids so much may god bless you and protect you forever Msiwai kosa. Aki hiyo ndio kitu naomba tu. Msiwai kosa. Muendelee kwa umro. More than hapa mwenye mko. Sabu umenisaidia. Uko na yani uko na roho nyingine yenye. Watu huko wengi wanasemanga, "My boss sijui nini. Anichagua sijui anachagua chakula nini. 
hapa tunapika kila mtu anajisavia chakula yake sijawahi fanya nimetoka ni, hosi umenipea muda nimepona nimerudi hakuna kazi ngumu yani nikwambia eh leo sijisikii poa na feel na umwa unaniambia eh hapana usifanye kazi enda kwa nyumba eh nani anaweza kufanya hivyo nani nobody hakuna mtu anaweza kufanya hivyo yani umenifanyia mambo makubwa nyumba yangu sasa hivi at least mtu akiingia anaweza kunywa chai kai niko na sufuria zile kubwa kubwa eh umeziona zile za eh za vifuniko kwanza eh <laughs> we nani yako nazo eh. we umenunua mimi sijanunua nimepewa kupewa mangu bagi yangu imejaa mpaka mamangu anavaa zingine hmm? sababu zingine zinitoshe hii zingine napelekea mwanamwekea kwa bag na mwambia mamu hizo zimetoka kwa my boss hmm? viatu zingine nampelekea na mwambie hizo zimetoka kwa my boss eh you such a nice person may god continue blessing you nikitoka kwa hii nyumba huko malintenda sijui ni sema nini sijui ni sema nini nikupigie simu nikwambie sasa hizi niko sawa aki utanipea hata nilisomesha sikudanganye ndakwambia huyu mwenye nimelea huyu wa mwisho nipe tu nisimame na yeye aki Mungu akubariki Mungu abariki familia yako msiwai lak chochote mimi ndo niza waambia na waombe anga kila siku. Hizo pesa zenu unanipanga. Yaani hata nikikomba sasa hizi dao ikifika yani mbona nafikiria hey hizi zitakatwa leo niko na pesa fulani. Mhm mm azikatwi napewa pesa zote. Mbona anashindwa? Ai. Kwani amesahau ama? He. Kumba hajasahau ananipea tu yani kwa roho yake yote. You are just a, a blessing. He. Mimi sijaiona nyumba watu wako kind hearted hivyo sijawahi pigiwa kelele tangu niingia hapa haujawahi nipigia kelele ati wewe sijafanya hujafanya hii uja unakujenga mimi kesho tunafaa tupanguza hapa tunasemanga tunafaa <laughs> kesho tunafaa tuosha nguo vizuri tunafaa tuangalie nguo tuosha vizuri si panguza hapa si hapa ni pachafu hapa hivyo tu anogianga in a polite way um chan kurudisha nyuma <laughs> the first day uliingia <laughs> na your orientation nyumba ilikuwa tofauti you guys mliketi na nikawaambia my prayer is msikwe house helps mm. for the rest of your lives mm. naweza kumbuka mm. nikawaambia mi my dream ni mfungo wa biashara mrudi shule kenye tu mtu anaweza taka kufanya mm. na all through the years tumekuwa pamoja nimekuwa nikikwambia na kuna kitu tumesoma hii wiki inasema you only as big as your biggest dream. Mm. Na mi Lim kusema kwa leo msichana a fashion sense is very good. Naweza nunulia wasichana kitu nilete anambia hapo umeanguka. <laughs> <laughs> na kusema kweli hawatavaa hiyo kenye nimenunua na rudisha kwa duka na leta hiyo kiatu kama ilikuwa kiatu mzuri. Um, so yani tuna tunaongea we have we our communication is very well kuna time after the sun passed on akaanza ku lose weight and i remember na nikakuja join nikamwambia because i suspected ni kukula kuli sapa so um nika nikamwambia from now on jioni unakuwa unabeba chakula yako una serve una warm kifika home tu ni kukula because we had seen ana lose weight hana mwili kubwa lakini she was losing weight this girl is very blessed you when baraka kwa hii nyumba ndo mimi nifanye kazi kwenye nimeajiriwa my mindset iko sawa mimi sipigangi simu mchana but vile unanifanyanga tu unasema leo watoto wako dal hawachezi unanipimia temperature yani niko na hiyo niko na hiyo feeling ya wacha tu nifanye kazi kwenye pia nimeajiriwa ju nyumba yangu ina manejiwa vizuri mm. kama ni kukula ojai ni danganya mm. wakikula vibaya unaniambia mm. wakikula vizuri unaniambia 
na hata nikifika jioni vile hata vile wameenda cho vile wameoga leo huyu nikimosha nime notice kuna hata pimple lapa hizo mm. zote zinanisaidia anga na i think nimekuambia juu hii nyumba siezi manage kasi wewe juu kuna kuna part yangu na nina play very well mm. niki receive mshahara yangu ndo mtu wa kwanza analipa siku langi hata one bob ni, niweke mafuta kwa gari ni wewe ndo na kwanza wa kwanza kwa sababu najua ukikuwa sawa mentally utakuwa sawa physically hapa kwangu na hizo miaka zote zenye umeketi na, na sisi hakuna siku ni maifikiria na huyu sasa ntam replace natafuta mtu wa replace ama natamani mwingine angekuja afanye hivi na hivi we ni mtu trustworthy Nakumbuka ile siku gari ya shule ilikuja na ilikuwa tofauti ukakataa kuingiza mtoto <laughs> ndani hadi to confirm <laughs> na ukachukua number plate kunitumia picha hapa na pale leo mm-hmm. watoto wanafanya hivi hizo zote zinanisaidia leo nilikuwa naangalia messages zetu <laughs> vile hadi tume tumesafiri mm-hmm. lakini una call ku check up on them mm-hmm. tukienda hospitali unataka kujua wanaendeleaje daktari amesema nini hizo mm-hmm. Iz, zote we ni mtu mzuri sana na utaenda mbali utaenda mbali vile unapenda brothers zako vile unapenda mama yako asante mm-hmm. una ka, una uwashughulikia kwa shughulikia imagine vile umeshikilia hiyo familia yenu pia I have no doubt ukianzisha familia yako utakuwa the best homemaker out Thank there. Thank you. Utawalea, utawalinda, mzee utamchunga. Eh, ju roho yako haina wengi Sharon. Haina wengi Sharon. Asante. Na I'm sure unajua kila mtu mwenye anaingia ngako kwa hii nyumba mm. anajonga tu anti Sharon. <laughs> so wewe ndio ukiambia mtoto he? Mm. Ukimwambia mm. anti no. Hawataki kusikia anti mwingine wanajua tu ni wewe mm. na unajua hiyo ina reflect kazi yako mm. juu mtoto ukipata mtoto tu wako hivi unajua kuna saa juu masaa zetu si eti ni saa zingine saa kumi kwa hapa saa zingine saa kumi na moja mm. tunasimama hapa nje tunasikia tu vile mnacheza mm. na ujui tuko nje <laughs> so hii <laughs> ina, inatupatia anga joy na for me more than anything nyumba ikikuwa iko sawa pia mimi na succeed huko kwingine. Mm. Boss wangu anajuanga niko nikiwa kazi niko kazi. Mm. Sijiko unaelewa. Mm. Juu nyumbani sina sina need sina need ya ku ya kushinda nikifuatilia. Mm. Una ji manage Kenya hata wa Kenya wajui sijai kutengenezea schedule. Wewe ndo umepanga kazi yako mm. na uangusha angi kitu uendele tu na hiyo moyo. Asante. Mimi nakwambia ufungue boutique yako. <laughs> eh? Na unipatie katop. Tu usikuwe. Ndakwa nakwambia kuje uchukue ngoni unajisikia. Uendele tu hivyo. Asante. Mm. Ah. Your life is about to change. Thank you. Mm. See why is how don't ever forget each other. Ni mm. eh. mm. Hata tukiwa apart, eh. ukiona WhatsApp zetu utajua nani huyu na text. Labda nikwambie eh. utajua. Eh. Juu hata nikiwa nimevaa vizuri hata niambie eh hey, you're very smart. You know, eh yeah. akiona birthday babangu ilikuwa kama jana ta text happy birthday. Yaani it's more than what she does in the house yes. iko uko nje i think at the end of the only remaining one wamekuja wakichangiwa yeye yeah, amekuwa orientator labda mm. endwa nao <laughs> and it's nice ni, ni, ni poa kuona mm. unataka endelee ku grow utaki atiabaki hapa mm. forever ha, tume have e conversation many times mm. na anaketing hapo tunaketi hapa tuki watch tv mm na namwambia we mimi nakuombea tu like uf, ufungue uajiri cuz huyu ataenda mbali sana amen mm. unajua di vitunguzi kiko hapa cuz yeah. we share if we have anything in excess yeye ndo mtu wa kwanza yeah. so zikiwa hapo 
anachukua anasema unacho hizi mtu anazuza five bob ama <laughs> nini nini okay na anarukuja na anambia zile zimetengeneza 1000 zile tengeneza 500 she's Ayo. very entrepreneurial eh. so so ni mtu ataka business kake anaweza ju manage ya huyu no doubt <laughs> ju nakwambia ivo if we have something in atafikiria haraka sana kuna time alikuwa na two bags unakumbuka zile mm. bags 2019 yeah. two bags to babies alikuwa anauza uh, two viatu. house shoes yes. anauza like yeye ni mtu wa kufikiria mm. the next stages mm. na unaona kama sasa msharake hata kama anasema na muongezanga ama kumpatia mm. extra within the month mm. she manages her money so hata nikimpatia 200 yangu na jua haendi kukunywa unaona because yes. you know you can or anaenda kutumia vibaya mm. na jua nikimpatia ni ya unga ni ya nini like alafu hana mazoea ya kushinda kiomba you know ile nipatie 1000 nipatie mm. 200 nipatie 100 mm. mm-hmm. alituambia ulimtafutia pia counselor oh, during the grieving yeah. session mm. eh, why was that important it oh, first that was a shock to me mm. and i'd never met the son but the first thing nili nili imagine ni any traumatic incidents like that because the boy was not sick for a long time itakuwa na effect na ye. Mm-hmm. na mimi nilikuwa nataka akuepoa such that akicheza na watoto wangu hana hiyo hiyo heaviness in mm-hmm. the heart as mm-hmm. much as na even as tukimtafutia counselor pia tulikuwa tunaongea constantly na mwambia how are you feeling this morning ju tulikuwa some time apart mm-hmm. leo kwaje like tulikuwa tuna keep on talking mm. because eh, loss alafu zilikuwa zimefuatana i don't know if she has told you about the yes. the ectopic mm. Mm. so ilikuwa too much on her mm. na pia tumeongea stories at home mm. vile anataka kusaidia mama yake so nilikuwa najua hiyo weight yote ita more affect mm. kako beta sana kako beta sana ako ako sawa mm. anakula hiyo mm. ndio hiyo ndio kitu moja tunapiga nianga akule akule <laughs> akule <laughs> juu and stack ya disahau mm-hmm. na unajua ki kwa poa even the kids yes. unaona and this girl she's special because even when she was going through grieving she kept on checking on my children hadi namwambia au ako sawa She kept on checking on them ana ana ananiuliza wakoaje leo natalia ame grow kidogo cuz we were apart but mm. we were still working together mm. so ananiuliza wana grow na mwambie hey, acha namtumia picha ananiambia wao wamekoa kubwa ni namuliza na wewe unakula una, unafanya nini mm. and the thing i'm happy about is also that she has been a blessing to this home and we are hoping that she we are blessing to her as well you yeah. when it, she faces any major not even major aki face kitu maybe her house has been broken into she runs to us me yondo yondo unajua tukopea mm. tukopoa na ye, mm. because mimi nikimwona kwa mlango hata simulizangi ati umebeba nini i've never searched her bag mm. she's a day bag na unajua vile watu sema debug wa uiba mm. sijui nini nini mimi mm. sijai such bag yake mm. if we when covid hit kulikuwa na ile mass shopping you remember yes. we also rain hatukwa mm. tatumelipwa tukakimbia mm. supermarket tuka shop and then we said pia yeye before mshara ifike na vile watu wana shop tumshopie mm. so what we were taking tunamchukulia unga sukari mm. nini nini mm. ndio pia akwe sawa yes. at her place yeah. but she has never stolen she has never nani she has never been like aggressive with the children mm. she has never been rude to us to the visitors who come mm. she's very she's security in this house yes. imagine plumber akikuja na ni sisi tumetuma ni must a confirm huyo ni sisi tumetuma mm. na hata akitoka kurudi tena atapiga mm. amerudi ni mfungulie mm. so she doesn't allow anyone in that wow. door na unajua ni security yes. she doesn't allow any harm to come to the children wow. when the girls joined school we had to take her to the school they are going juu pia ni mzazi mm. so ni ile tumeenda akaona wame settle mm. ameona walimu wao mm. ameona vile wanakula nini mm. nini mm. and in the evening when the children are coming home let me tell you something interesting about her uh-huh. she knows the time they come nani kana sikianga gari 
Sharon atashinda pale kwa mlango <laughs> hadi watoto waingie. Imagine. It's so interesting to watch Ju amewapenda. Amewapenda in such a way she's protective of them. Mm. She loves them, she cares yeah. for them, they yeah. care for her. Mm. When she's living in the evening they'll tell her, "Auntie, we hurt you." To mean they love her. Yes. And you know children don't <laughs> lie. Kama yeah. akupendi akupendi. <laughs> so yeah. That also gives us joy. Mm. And we know life yako ita change. And even to when you make a blessing kwa watu wengine, pia wewe blessings zako zinako, mm. zinakuja. Thank you. And you continue being the kind of person that you are. And mm. that our see, continue being the kind of boss that you are. Mm. We don't have so many out there. But it's amazing to see what we really can sit down and talk positive things mm. about. Ata kwa maofisi, see what when you wanna watch, <laughs> they can say something nice about their bosses. Mm. But now when we share such amazing stories and we show people how a blessing munaeza kuwa to each other, makes me really happy. Sindio, mm-hmm. kama wa Kenya wangetaka kukusupport, wanaeza kufikia aje. Kwa namba yangu ndabiana. E, Peana. 0769 mm. 714 mm-hmm. 521 mm-hmm. majina italeta nani Elizabeth Makoha Makoha mm-hmm. eh we namba yako ni pura <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. na we watu wanaweza kufikia aje mimi eh. um maybe my number if you are you are free to give it you uko sawa kupeana because i'm sure people might want to call you too okay mm. Um, 0707 mm-hmm. 929 yeah. 952 nani? Masi kehio. Masi kehio. Mm. Mm. and thank you for being a blessing to thank each you. other's lives sindio mm. ah who knew today's episode of tales of wanjiko would be so positive and we would end up you know being emotional but still be happy at the same time and guys you've really been at a many impact i perspective yangu on so many things in change hata mimi Mungu akini bless na house manager kama wewe i hope i will treat them the way mm-hmm. una treat Sharon mm-hmm. so guys if you want to support this young woman here achieve her dreams yani life yake i change kabisa namba yake ndio hii and if you want to reach her amazing boss <laughs> namba yake ndio hii hapi ndio hii hapa thank you for watching tales of wanjiko let us know what you think about this episode the legendary director and camera person edwin ochieng thank you so much for your amazing work and our amazing editors david moridi and yukabeth mukami asante ni sana if you have a positive story share ni kwa hiyo email iko wapi iko hapo asante sana Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>